Good morning and welcome to the Great Journey podcast. Today, I'm Caitlin Clary and I'm here with Sensei Callahan. You may not recognize him. He's not in his gi today. We're going informal today. <laughs> um, our podcast today is called First Empty Your Cup. And Sensei is going to share with us a tale of old in the martial arts world that has to do with this, correct? Yes. Okay. Um, so this is a, uh, a story that's been told for many, many years. Mm -hmm. um, the student comes to the master and wants to learn or study from the master. Right. And this applies to all different sorts of traditions, not just the martial arts. Yes. And um, <clears throat> the... Well, they're they're talking, and the uh, student is going on and on about all that they know and this and that and and whatever. Mm -hmm. And this the master then begins the process of making tea. Mm -hmm. And when the tea is finished, he pours out a cup of tea for himself, mm -hmm. and then he pours um, a tea into the student's, student's cup. cup. Okay. And, uh, but he just keeps pouring and pouring and pouring okay. and soon the cup fills up and then it overflows onto the table and onto the floor mm -hmm. and he just keeps pouring mm -hmm. and the student becomes aghast with all of this. Right. You know, what are you doing? Yes. Uh, stop. Right. And, um, and so the master then stops, but then tells the student that um, before I can accept you as a student, you must empty your cup. Okay. Um, so it's the idea that um, you can only put, um, you can only, the teacher can mm -hmm. only help a student who is open to helping, who okay. is empty, does not think that they know it all. Right. And um, willing to learn. And is willing to learn. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. And so, um, that's something that's very important mm -hmm. in the process of accepting a student into the school. Right. Um, and to go along with that is their parent. Yes. Um, so uh, the best approach that the parent can take to support their child is to become a student themselves. Right. And that can be done in a couple of different ways. First of all, it could be done where the where the parent is actually coming onto the floor mm -hmm. and taking classes along with their child. Which we have a few parents that do that, right? Yes, yeah. yes, okay. and that really is the best and yes. we would really like to get more. Mm -hmm. um, uh, but the second best approach to that is for the parent to be a student in spirit. Right. And being a student in spirit, uh, implies that the parent is also willing to empty their cup. Yes. And when the parent comes into the school with an empty cup, mm -hmm. then their child will sense that and will also make sure that they're empty as well. Right. And so that that makes for the perfect um, instructor Student, student relationship. relationship. No, mm -hmm. that makes sense. Yep. And that could be tie into anything in any workforce or what have you. Yep. Your ego can get in the way exactly. of you even doing the right thing. That's where like a lot of, um, is it Elon Musk maybe, that prefers to hire someone without any experience in the world mm -hmm. of whatever he does. That's yeah. all way above me. Yeah. Um, because that's a trainable person instead yes. of somebody who's an expert in their field yes. that would come in. Yeah, yes. it was either him or Steve Jobs. I can't remember. Yeah, well, the, well, the, the idea is quite prevalent among uh, you know business owners and highly successful people. Right, is that you you can't really take somebody that thinks that they know it all. Yeah. and be able to get them to uh, perform well. Right, in in the way that you want it done yeah. because every, every business and every organization mm -hmm. has a system mm -hmm. or a process or they should anyway right. for doing something and it's not just joe's process over here or sally's process over there no everybody does it the same way it's the business's process right Absolutely. And so that's probably if it was elon musk who said that or yep. steve jobs mm -hmm. or warren buffett or whoever else right. it was right. they were um they were referring to a um, system that works for the business that they have. Right. And they're all proof that that is successful. It works, yeah. <laughs> right? Yep. Okay, great. Was there anything else to add to that? No, I think that's it. Super. Okay. So at least becoming a student in spirit, parents, support your kids. Thanks so much for listening, and we'll see you next time. Have a great day.